I have made um, a video uh, in two parts, which um, shows uh, me building uh, as secure host, Linux host as possible. So um, that is a host made of uh, Kali distribution of the Linux um, running in a virtual environment. Um, having um, VPN service provider connected to it and also having um, a VPN kill switch using IP tables firewall and um, yeah then also the tour tour browser to access the dark web with so um, <clears throat> That is what I'm showing in two parts video. So just a short uh, or brief explanation what the dark web is. You can uh, say that the web um, is made of different parts. You have the clear web or service web where you have all sites public available and also indexed by search engines like Google. Then you have the deep web. The deep web is not um, public available and Google search ending, for example, cannot index sites within the deep web. So that's the main uh, difference between the surface web and the deep web. It's about the search engines, if they can index sites or not. Um, <clears throat> the deep web is not uh, uh, illegal or criminal in any way. I mean, it's online banking, for example, online email. You have um, corporate sites and uh, just other private sites uh, not accessible without credentials most of the time. So, um, so that is just the deep web and a part of the deep web <coughs> is the dark web and dark web is uh, is made of onion network and the onion network cannot be indexed by normal search engines like Google and, and such so um, and also you, you cannot access on your network with your um, surface web browser you need a special web browser like Tor web browser for example and it is used both by criminal elements but also by people that want uh, to have some some um, anonymity uh, they they don't want to be in the light due to some factors unknown it can be that uh, they need to hide from the government or something like that so, uh, <clears throat> so that was short brief explanation of the dark web. So let's dive into the rest of the videos. Let's see how to install uh, this um, virtual virtualization software, Oracle VM VirtualBox. And later on, we will add um, operating system to this one. And we will also configure that operating system to be as anonymous as we should be before uh, visiting the dark web in a future episode. So let's jump into this one. Um, we do that by downloading the um, Oracle VM virtual box. So uh, that's the um, I have the Windows platform, so I download the Windows installer package and you choose whatever platform you have to download the correct package. Okay, so when you have downloaded your virtual box, uh, just double click and start an installer and click yes. Uh, welcome to next. I remove Python support, click next, I click yes, 
and install. Okay, let uh, yeah start. Okay, so then you have the VirtualBox uh, Manager install. We need um, operating system. So I'm going to choose Kali. Uh, we'll download. We have um, virtual machines here. So I will choose VirtualBox 64 bit. And it will download for me. Okay, the download um, is finished. So um, let's move or unpack this one. Um, <clears throat> so I want to unpack them to that place. Okay, um, so um, I have it there. Let's see if it works. Great. So let's change a few things. <clears throat> uh, disable all communication with the host machine. Uh, this one is good to know. Uh, disk encryption. Ah, I don't need that uh, base memory. Uh, yeah, for 1496. Um, I don't need optical uh, processor. Yeah, let's hit three. Um, acceleration display. Yes, yes. Storage. Yeah. Audio. Um, not really, uh, actually. So I will disable it now, but maybe. No, I leave it on. Network breached. Serial, no. USB, no. No shared folders. We need the user interface as default. Okay. And we can power it off. Uh, power on, sorry. <coughs> and uh, do some. Configurations in the file system. <clears throat> so it is booting up. So I will uh, run this Kali Linux in a virtual machine and I will also configure uh, VPN in the virtual machine uh, to be more safe and then we will configure the tour browser to also be uh, safe as safe as possible and we should check um, that we don't have any ip leaks or dns leaks or something like that then i mean we have done a lot and it would be difficult to um, to hack us if we do that so uh, yeah let's log in here first i like this uh, distro it's nice actually nice layout so um first Let's go into settings, uh, keyboard, and use layout, English US. I want to add uh, Swedish. 
course I have the Swedish keyboard. So I add that one and I move it on top and this one I remove and then I choose close. Okay. Let's try if we have the correct settings. Yep, OAF. Oh, uh, but one interesting thing though, um, if I reboot, I won't have um, have that um, keyboard setting. So uh, let's change that as well. Need to edit um, keyboard here as well. Keyboard. Password. It's easy as of now, but we will of course change password also. Um, yeah, like that. Write it out. Cool. Um, let's do a restart just to uh, check that we have the correct keyboard. Uh, I wonder what size did we have? storage here uh, 80 gigabyte okay that's good so it's coming up yep let's see yeah i have swedish keyboard fantastic so now we can Log on and continue. <clears throat> cool. So um, I'm gonna change this side a bit, like that maybe. Good, good size, I guess. Let's start doing things. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, let's start updating. And I guess um, this is some something you should do every time before you uh, go into the uh, Tor network, so the system is up to date. Yeah, upgrade. This will take a while. Okay, so. Um, now the upgrade is uh, done, so we have um, we have configured the keyboard as well. So we'll pass wrote. Let's set the new password. Okay. Same for Carly. Okay, we have set new passwords for a uh, root user and Carly user. So let's continue. Um, what I would like to have is let's see so 
So here can here can we see we have uh, EP version six activated as well. Uh, I only want to have um, IPv4 for the VPN because I'm going to use uh, or configure a VPN kill switch later and it's much easier to do the only IP version 4. So um, let's start. Let's start um, changing. Just control fine. So <clears throat> yeah, we should enable IP version four forwarding then we can add um, net uh, IP net IP version 6 dot conf um, all interfaces disable So um, I think it should be okay to have it um, on all the devices like that. Let's try it. Okay. And um, yeah, we we'll need to uh, reload it. And P, okay. Uh, let's have a look again here. <clears throat> yes, you can see EP version 6 uh, are gone. So that is um, one goal. And um, before we do more things, I think we should download the uh, VPN configuration files now let's go to that uh, service the VPN provider <clears throat> so I will just start connecting to my to my um, account Yeah, and yeah, I can say something about this one, Mulval VPN, uh, the VPN provider, why I do have this one. Uh, <clears throat> that they have this no logging activity policy, which um, I think is uh, good for privacy, and they are also uh, have this GDPR as well, of course. Yes. <clears throat> so um, that's actually why I like this one. Uh, it's very easy. I mean, I have nothing uh, personal information on this. My account is just a number. And that is all there is to this. So. Um, Let's download for VPN now uh, Linux and I will have Sweden as exit point, but I will choose Gothenburg. I will download that one. Okay. Yeah, we can leave that one there. So um, I think we could start another one. We should have that one in 
downloads. See there. Yes. Unpack this one. Okay, great. Um, now we have this folder. And here we have four files. Yeah. I will only use three of the files. So I will copy them, or I will actually edit the files first. to add some things to the files. Need to client web three. Uh, this one I remove that and I remove this. I don't need it. I will um that later on so what do we have more yeah proto let's add that one to there and also <clears throat> we need to add these um, pool filter ignore Route B B six. Okay. And this is all our servers, which we should add to the IP tables later on. But um, I will actually also force to use version 4 here okay like that and I will write that okay so yes uh, yeah let's copy these files um, I will copy all the all files to open VPN folder. <clears throat> okay. Great. Let's jump down there and just try it once. don't have correct resolver um, no this is um, on our local area network but let's try this one um, just to see if it works or not let me run bash I like that better so um, This one and the configuration is in the SE file like that. So let's try it just to see if it works or not. Yes, you can see it is up and running. Uh, I don't think we can browse, but let's check that. Yeah, we are connected. Check colleagues who are using, not using the correct server. So um, 